I believe this corn is ready to pull some off and do a cream corn demonstration. I believe we'll do that. Well, let's just do it right now. When you get one like this, you know that is gonna be good. He's got that dark hair on it. I'll just show you. That's plenty, plenty mature for this, what we're doing here. Look at this. Nice big old ears. Mm. That goes from the tip of my finger almost up to the big crook of my arm. Let's go up to the house and we'll cut this off the well. First, we gotta shuck it. Then we're gonna cut it off the cob. And then we're gonna show you how to put cream in cream corn. All right, boys, let's get this corn shucked. It's not much, it won't take long. That looks like some kind of nasty. Pull it on back. That is corn. It's a fungus that grows on corn and it's called corn smut. It's supposed to be edible. I've even seen it canned in jars and sold at the grocery store at like an ethnic store. And I never turned down a challenge, so I'm gonna have to eat this. <laughs> so I'm going to try to eat this, but we're going to keep on shucking corn and getting this all ready to go for our cream corn. The corn smut video will be a completely different animal, so let's put that on hold for a moment and go along, go about our business shucking corn. Alright, we're cutting this corn off the cob. I cannot believe it hadn't started raining yet. Them old big clouds are coming and I mean the radar is red. It looks rough. But it looks like it's gonna hold off and let us get this corn cut right quick, so that's nice. All right, guys, we've got the corn cut off the cob. Now it's time to get to cooking, and we're cooking cream corn. For some reason, people that cook cream corn don't put cream in it. I don't understand that. We put cream in ours. Caleb, I want to ask you a question. What do you think about people that eat cream corn don't put no cream in it? Good nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got our corn cut off the cob. These boys helped me really knock it out in a hurry. Uh, this is about two quarts, I'm going to say, of corn. So we're just going to put it in a nice large stock pot type kettle. And we're going to just rake all of it in with the kernels plus the milk of the, of the corn that we back, when we back scraped it, we got that milk. And this type of corn don't have a whole lot of that. Now we are going to put our cream in here and salt and that's all. So here's how we do that. This is one pint of good, fresh, heavy cream from the cow. It is cold right out of the jar. When you milk a cow, all the cream is mixed into the milk, naturally homogenized until you let it set for about five minutes. And then it floats to the top. So all the cream comes to the top and then a gallon of milk you'll have maybe an inch and a half, two, sometimes three inches of cream on top. And that's, you just scoop it off, put it in a pint jar and save it until you need it. Coffee, put a little in some eggs when you scramble them, a little bit in some corn when you cook it. There's a million ways you can use good cream. Costs a lot at the store too, by the way. So we're just gonna pour this entire pint of cream right in on this corn. 
and we're gonna mix that together. Now you got two quarts of corn, one pint of cream. Now we're gonna put two teaspoons of good pink Himalayan salt. We like our pink Himalayan salt. We're gonna put that in there and now we're gonna stir everything up together really good. Gotta love that thunder. Cannot believe it hadn't started raining on us yet. All right. Now, we're gonna put this on the stove and cook this slow. You don't cook it fast. You put it on, you cook it slow. I'd say this here will take probably a good hour to two hours to really cook down nicely. And that's the key with a lot of old fashioned cooking. You have to do it slow. The modern way is speed, speed, fast, fast. I gotta have it now. You can't cook old fashioned food that way. It don't turn out. And people think, oh, it's no good, it's nasty. You just didn't take the time to do it right. So we're gonna go cook it now. And we're cooking the corn over a good old wood fire. Let me tell you what, that's the way to go. If you ain't got fire in your stove, you just ain't got much heat. Well, we got the corn a cooking. We got the taters a frying. We got the meat a frying. We got the squash a frying. And it's all gonna be put together in a beautiful stir fry type casserole. And we've got a bunch of tomato sauce getting ready to be canned and so we got a lot of irons in the fire but the good thing is our fire is big enough it should be able to handle it. Woo baby! That's a good time throw. Mmm, I wish you folks could smell that. Alright folks, look at that bubble rising up. The corn is done, and we are going to taste test. All right, scoop some out there in that bowl there, Brother Joe. Just enough for everybody to get a taste, because this ain't supper table. And it is hot now, let me tell you, it is hot. Who wants to go first? Do a little taste test. Just get a small amount on your spoon. Just get a little bit. It may be hot. Is it hot, Joe? It is. Too hot to, for Caleb. Go easy, bubs. Oh, he said it's warm. How's it taste, oh. man? Good. I tasted it a while ago, and I tell you what, I got the cream salt combo perfect on this. Mm -hmm. You talk about it's good. It is. What does it taste like, Caleb? It tastes just like cream corn. Tastes just like cream corn. Man, that's great. I'm glad you didn't say chicken like you always do. That would have been, that wouldn't have worked. <laughs> Old Dave. How is it, Dave? Good. What does it taste like? Corn. <laughs> uh, well, folks, there you have it. Cream corn with cream. What are you guys are doing? Oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> gum in his mouth eating corn, I would have never guessed it. Oh well. <laughs> and that goes right back in. <laughs> oh man, you gonna try to keep that through your, in your mouth through supper? Mm -mm. No? Okay. Well, I'm glad you're not. Well, we're gonna get out of here, folks. This is a cream corn video. We put the cream in the corn, so just kind of use that as a basic rule of thumb. We put a pint of cream in two quarts of corn. <clears throat> if you have one quart of corn, use a half a pint of cream, just that simple. One teaspoon of salt per quart of corn. So lay it on it, folks. Put the cream in the corn, have you some cream corn. That's what it's all about. Caleb, I want to ask you a question. What do you think about people that eat cream corn don't put no cream in it? Good nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you heard it from a four-year-old, folks. 
if you put if you have cream corn and it ain't got cream in it you're nuts <laughs>